deal with airplane peanuts. The mandatory evacuation of the New York Comedy Club that took place last week while Mark Norman was on stage has only gotten more mysterious since the original video leaked online, which first showed a seemingly intoxicated stranger in an orange hat wandering on stage for a few seconds before being dragged off by security. A woman located on the left side of the screen runs after the man, and Mark Norman is left on stage slightly stunned but still throwing out zingers like a pro, trying to keep the situation as light as possible. Uh up to this point, nothing too far out of the ordinary has even occurred, as it's not that rare for a comedy show to have to remove an audience member for doing something stupid. But where things get very strange, however, is immediately after this, Mark himself was then told to get off stage without a chance to give any sort of explanation, which left the crowd in a state of confusion and panic until this announcement was made. Guys, everything's fine. Um, we just had a momentary interruption. Um, uh, just stay, get up, <laughs> get out the the taping. Um, yes, please, can we get out or what? Cut the camera. Yeah, just, yeah, I'm one of the producers of the show. Um, yeah, we just need everybody to get out, please. Uh, Mark's not coming back. Nice and slow, nice and slow, everything's fine, but you can make it better. The two producers who took the mic after Mark was escorted out of the building not only forgot to explain to the paying customers why their headliner just left mid-show, but also failed to ensure the audience of their safety and displayed a level of fear and confusion that only added to the tension. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait! Everybody Calm down. There have been many theories shared online about what this disruption possibly could have been about. From a standard bomb threat, to the theory that the man in the orange hat was running to a public place to avoid a hitman, or even people who were convinced that this was a legitimate terrorist attack that was actively being investigated by the FBI. There's been thousands of possible explanations thrown out there for what might be behind this disturbance, but the real answer is much, much stupider than anyone could have predicted. For the first 24 hours after this video, leaked, the only information anyone was provided with came from Mark Norman's Instagram story, where it was said that his team is looking into it. The following afternoon, New York Comedy Club finally released an official statement, where they said, quote, We've received a handful of inquiries regarding a viral clip of our club being evacuated last night. First and foremost, nobody was harmed or injured. The disruption was part of a filming by the producers that rented out our venue for the night. So since this took on a bit of a wild narrative, if you were in attendance for the taping, we'd love to host you for an actual show for free. Please email us at info at newyorkcomedyclub.com. This news was then confirmed by Mark Norman's story, which read, no one was harmed or injured during my performance last night at New York Comedy Club. The disruption was part of a planned surprise activity by show producers I had no prior knowledge that this was going to happen. It turns out this planned surprise during Mark's show was one of three events to be disrupted that night in New York City, all a part of an attempt at viral guerrilla marketing by a new Amazon Prime show about spies called we're bleeping out the name of the show and the name of the production company because I personally don't want to be involved in helping this campaign go viral, but I'm sure you could look it up if you're actually interested. As we were saying, the lead actor of the show, Donald Glover, also reposted videos from each of the three incidents on his Instagram story, one of which was a fake smash and grab at a local art exhibit, which just like this fake bomb threat situation, seems like more of a blatant crime than a publicity stunt. The third incident took place on the Jumbotron during a Nets game when two furries that were sitting courtside started making out, which again, might as well just be considered breaking the law. Even after some of these pieces were put together, there still seemed to be some confusion as to how this all got organized in the first place and who knew what was going to happen. Luckily for us, Mark Norman was just on the most recent episode of Legion of Skanks where they happened to have him hooked up to a lie detector. What happened at the New York Comedy Club? Can you talk about it? I signed an NDA, but here's what happened. So, no dicks allowed. No, no. Basically, uh, they they set up a show and they're like, "You do a forty-five minute set, and something crazy is gonna happen. We're not gonna tell you what." And I was like, "All right, I'll just I'll do a set." And then a guy walked on stage, and I riffed on it, and that was it. What was it? So you knew somebody was something that was gonna happen during I knew your something, set. Something, but they didn't tell me what. I figured it'd be like a crowd work thing. Did they tell you why? 
Uh, they're trying to go viral and build buzz for an internet company. Now knowing that this was all part of a pre-planned marketing stunt is not only annoying, but also leaves a lot of unanswered questions in my book. For example, if the producers rented out the comedy club like they said in the official statement, does that mean that the owners of the club knew this was going to happen? And if so, why would they allow this to go on during a show and not even explain it to potentially terrified customers? It's also interesting to think back on that first lady who took the mic, who was quaking in her boots trying to form any sort of sentence. If she knew what was going on, then that's the greatest acting performance of all time. But purposely panicking on stage while telling people to evacuate kind of seems like it should be against the law. So quite frankly, I still don't know what to think about this girl. Um, we just had a momentary interruption. Um, uh, just stay, get up, get out the taping. This entire thing has to feel a little weird from Mark Norman's point of view. I assume he wouldn't want to be associated with something like disrupting a live comedy show, but there's a reason these producers chose a big name comic like Norman to be their mark. If the campaign's end goal was to generate headlines, including a notable comedian with high SEO results would be a must. So they said, oh, you'll do a show, something weird's gonna happen, but we don't want to tell you what, and then you just react to it. I was like, ah, that doesn't sound like my thing. And they were like, Here's how much money you'll be making. And I was like, do you need to tase me? <laughs> I'll wear blackface, whatever you want, I'm in, you know? Mark, were you paid, were you paid a lot more money? Uh, no money was involved. No money? Uh -oh. <laughs> There's my first question. Let's see if that lit up or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to feel bad for the people in the audience that night who were basically pranked by Amazon Prime into thinking they might die. But it's also worth mentioning that not watching this show would be a great way to curb stupid shit like this from happening again. This bizarre Mark Norman story is just one of the dozens of comedy current events happening right now. 2024 is off to an insane start, and if you want to stay up to date with all your favorite comedians, be sure to subscribe to Joke World right Right now, we're kind of like Sports Center, but instead of sports, we talk about comedy. So I did a show, and a guy walked on stage, and that was about it. I, I didn't know what to do. I was like, oh, this is crazy. I tried to make a joke. Hey, is this where we're putting the migrants? Hey, all right. Uh, yada, yada, jute tunnel, whatever. And, uh, and then the guy, the security guard goes, come on off. Come on off stage. And I walked off stage, and then I left. Some lady was filming on her phone and then the front row, and she just got the last of it. So the whole thing's like, what the hell happened? He got pulled off stage. Holy shit. Thanks for watching. Did it feel good, though, Mark, in a sense that, like, the outpouring of people, like, like right before I was going to text you, I heard, like, I kind of got it and saw it. I was like, oh, it's not, like, a real thing. Yeah, yeah, everybody's like, was so this a, a Chappelle thing? Was this a Chris Rock slap? I was like, it's more of a Jesse Smollett. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that joke world. And the world is W R L D. That's a great uh, YouTube channel, Joke World. Check it out.